Hello, everybody. I just wanted to share a little haul. Um, we went to Junk Bonanza last Friday afternoon. It was in St. Paul or Canterbury Park in Shakopee. And it's gotten really big, but we quit going for about a year and a half. They do it twice a year. Once in uh, April and once in September. And it kind of was getting to where we were just seeing the same stuff over and over and over and over and over again. So we kind of got feeling like, you know, especially me, I guess. I just don't, you know, if you're not getting any ideas, where I would get a lot of good ideas there. So we gave it a year and a half off. And then this year I'm like, we got to go. I just am dying to see all the new stuff. And sadly, it wasn't, I didn't see... Like, there were no crafters there at all, hardly. Just jewelry makers, which I don't do. Um, I just can't do jewelry. I mean, I can barely do a charm. So, um, I don't know. I was really disappointed, and I only found a few little things. I don't think... Oh, yeah, Scrubby bought an old phone for the basement, which is kind of cool. But, um, yeah, it wasn't... It's huge. There's like 600 vendors there and I would say there's probably a hundred more than the last time we went but yeah not so nothing new so I was a little disappointed like I said but I still found a few things oh and then on Saturday what did we do Saturday no no Sunday on Sunday we went to the there's a twice annual antique um, sale and flea out at the State Fair Grandstand. So we went there on Sunday and it was cold. But, I mean, the sun was out. It was gorgeous. I think it was like 50 degrees out, so it was a gorgeous day. But the Grandstand building, they don't heat it because it's only used in the summer. You know, in August when it's about 100. So it was freezing in there. I mean, it was freezing my hands were freezing and all the vendors had um, little space heaters and then when you go outside it was you got hot so it was just kind of goofy they bill said they should have put up big fans at both doors that are on either end of the building to blow the hot air in which he's smart because all that cold air is just gonna sit there you know so it was like we couldn't get wait to get outside and um anyway so okay so junk bonanza I found this guy had a bucket of zippers, two for a dollar. So I found these four. I thought it'd be fun to make some pouches, like little pencil pouches or something. I've got um, some fun fabrics from Rose. Um, Rose King sent me for one of our swaps. So um, I might use this for those. So that was a good deal. And Dale Calder is a videographer, a YouTube guy. Dale Calder, C-A-L-D-E-R. He's from somewhere in Canada. And he has a cabin in his backyard. And he does the most incredible baking. He makes his own big wheels of cheese. And like his most famous video is um, Winter Storm in the Cabin. And it's kind of cute because he doesn't have far to go, like from his back door to his cabin, I don't think. It's like a little shed, but I don't think it's very far, but it's just really cute. And he was blown away by how much, um, how many views he got, so his channel's kind of growing. Anywho, he did a donut video, making donuts, and he makes it look really easy, of course. So, of course, I got to get on that bandwagon and make my own donuts. And so I found this. Oh, I found these, these, three, these three things. There's this lady that's always there, and I always go to her booth, because she has one of those big circle turnaround things that they use for, um, like, parts or feed or something, I don't know, on the farm. And she always has good deals. So everything on her thing was $2 or under, so I got this for $2. That's a good amount for 2 bucks. And I got this for 2 bucks. And then I got this stinky piece for two dollars, two, or a dollar, because I was like, oh, it's like a piece. I don't. But I was like thinking, like, I'll give her five for this. 
you know, just because this isn't the hugest piece. So I walk up there and she goes, oh, you look familiar. And I'm like, yeah. Well, uh, she goes, uh, five bucks. And I'm like, oh, perfect. I should have said four. So anyways, um, but I do have to uh, wash them. But then after I got this, I went to another booth and found a better donut cutter with the wooden handle, which would be nicer to, but it'll work. And it's a little crooked, but that's fine. So that was from that booth. And then this I found at another booth. And this was $2, which is a steal. Because then at another booth, I found a, it's these golden, a golden nature guide. Um, I found one on fishes and it was $12. And I thought, because eh, I, if I spend that much on it, then I'm not going to want to tear it up. And I kind of just want to use these wherever, you know. So I left it, but I thought, well, I'll remember where it is. I know I'm in this building. It's over on this wall. It's in this booth. So we go through the rest of the thing, and I'm like, you know what? Because I thought, well, if I find it cheaper, I'll get it. Couldn't find it cheaper. Didn't even see it anywhere else. So I go, you know what? I think I'm just going to get that book. I couldn't even find what booth it was in. I, my mind was just like, I don't even know where it was. I mean, I, I got in the right building, but... Just, I mean, you just got to like, I don't know, just get it when you can. And then at the antiques sale, I thought maybe I'd see, I'd see it there, but it wasn't there. So at that sale, this was, um, let me think, this was in the building, but I really like this. I hope that can get erased. Molasses Day Bars, I could use it or leave it, but I love these. I wish the whole thing was full of that. But this is for, um... Grandma's Old Fashioned Molasses. And so everything in here has molasses in it. Like even hot dishes. And... Oh, I was going to try these whole wheat waffles. So I made some bran waffles. They were called Mother, Mother Earth Pancakes from this other old cookbook. They were so good that I thought I'd try the molasses one too. But isn't that cute? Look at that. Scary the gingerbread boy is. It's kind of like like a little evil. I don't know. And that's how he cuts out. So that was kind of a great little added find. And that was taped up here as you can see. So that's that one. 50 ways with sour cream. I love these. But these I will use for... Um, junk journals and stuff. Duffy. Annabelle Bristol. Bristol. I love that name, Annabelle. But even that, that's so cool to have on there and Duffy and whatnot. So I don't know. These never really say what year they are and there wasn't a date on the newspaper, so. But I'm guessing from the 40s. So. And that was, oh, it was $4, but she had half price. I got it for 2 And she had all books, and she didn't even have the fishes book. Then there was a guy that had Stampin' Up! stamps. And I was like, 9 bucks. I'm not going to pay 9 bucks for that. And I was thinking in my head, I thought, well, I'll pay 5 It's kind of my magical number. So I was, you know, talking to him, and... He goes, oh, he goes, well, these are actually all on sale. So guess what he had? Five bucks for this size. Because he had these sizes, and then he had a smaller, and then just single stamps. But I, I have a couple of stamps similar to these from Stampin' Up. But I thought, you know, this would be kind of cool to watercolor. Except, okay, I keep thinking. Talk me off the ledge. Because to me, and maybe I'm morbid, but... This looks like he's holding his wife's dead body. Like, she's not, it's not drawn. I don't know, it's just not, a, I don't know, it doesn't look right. You know, it's like, she's not three-dimensional at all. So it kind of looks like she's dead. Because he's not even, like, holding on, I don't know, it's just weird. But anyway, so, I might have to... Maybe cut her off. I don't know. 
just a little weird. But I thought they were cute. I love this one. I have another Stampin' Up! set where kids are silhouettes and they're like running with the flag and really cool set. I love it. So that one reminded me of that one too. This is all at the beach, but you know, it doesn't look like the beach there. It's, you know. And this one, that to me is more at the lake. So, and these are way too small, these sentiments. Like, I don't know how you're going to read that. So, that's my little haul from Antiquing and Junk Bonanza-ing. So, um, thanks for watching. Bye.